For practice it, self check 2.31 star exclamation 1. We are told to, or actually we're asked, what is the output of the following sequence of loops? And in here we have a for loop encased in a for loop that's encased in another for loop. So we have multiple nested loops here. So first we have this outer loop right here. And it's going to run as long as i is less than or equal to 0. So this is going to run twice. We then have this next nested for loop where it's going to run three times because j has to be less than or equal to 3. And then this next nested for loop where k has to be less than or equal to 4. So this is going to run four times. And then we have a print statement inside of that print statement right outside of that, and then a last print statement outside of those. So first we can look at our first for loop, and i is equal to 1 here, and we have j is equal to 1, and then we have k is equal to 1. So what we're going to get here is a star and then we are going to keep going because k is now going to be equal to 2, k is equal to 3, and k is equal to 4, just like that. Get rid of this k right here because that doesn't really matter. And then we are going to have an exclamation mark. Now j is going to equal 2 because we've gone through this for loop once, so we have to break out of it. And we do this statement right here, and then we go back into this for loop, since j is um, now, well, it was 1, now it's 2. So we'll go back in our nested for loop here, and we will print out another 4 stars. like this, and then we will break out of this loop, and we will write an exclamation mark, like that. Next, our j is going to equal 3, and so we will be in this loop one more time, and print out these stars, break out, and then print out an exclamation mark. And now, since we've broken out of this loop, our j is equal to 3, we're going to break out of this loop. And now we are going to go onto a new line. Well, then after we go onto a new line, so we have to go under it right here, we are just going to go through both of these inner for loops again one more time. So what's going to end up happening is that we are going to have everything that we wrote right here and then we are going to have it right underneath. So this is one whole, or um, this is one line. And then right under it, this is one line. So when we put it in practice it, we're going to have four stars, an exclamation mark, four stars, an exclamation mark, four stars, an exclamation mark. And then we are going to copy this paste it below, submit, and we have passed the test. This is what our output looks like.